I have got to put my phone in the holder. Ugh, I wish I maybe I could set it up so that. Whoa, that's really far over. I'm gonna switch sides. Sorry, sorry for any movement. Close your eyes, close your eyes. There we go. I might have to figure out how to set that up so I can just push the buttons and then you guys don't have to look at that. Okay. There we go. Let's see if I can move it a hair. That worked. A little bit crooked, but I think that's better than messing with you guys. Let me get stuff out of the way. Hopefully that's not going to move it too much. Okay, now to find... Okay, is this working? Can you guys hear me? Okay, is this working? Can oh, you guys hear me? sorry about that. That's funny because I made this paper and then I'm looking at the screen and nothing's moving and I'm like, it's really crooked. Does that bother anybody else? Maybe I can move this. <laughs> it bugs me. <laughs> there we go. That's not crooked. <laughs> okay, I'm not seeing any comments, so if you are here, please make a comment, leave a comment so I know. And I just now noticed that it says Made with Love Doodlebug Shadow Bow Class instead of Box. Not that, I mean, I'm sure you guys probably all know what it is, but... Okay, is anybody commenting? Anybody say hello? Um... Oh, okay. Carolyn. Hello. Welcome, Carolyn. Whoops. That's going to be a problem. Okay. Hi, Angie. Hi, Angie. I see a few comments now. I'm going to give a few minutes. I came on a couple minutes early because I want to... Hello, Cheryl. Welcome. I'm going to give a few minutes just because I want people to be able to join. So welcome, welcome. If you have any foam adhesive that you might want to use, if you bought this kit, I'd love to know if you bought the kit. So leave me a comment if you purchased the kit. Hi, Lori. Welcome. Glad you're here. I have to apologize, you guys, because I have allergies today. I've been, went to, um, like the, Farmington Gardens got some flowers yesterday out and about and it's been like 80 degrees where I am which never happens so oh let me turn that off now how do I silence this thing anybody know how to silence an iPad oh I guess you would do it the same way do not disturb maybe oh there we go I think I have it on silent mode on Oh, good. Welcome, Arlene. Welcome, Beth. Or I would think I already said hello. Maybe not, but I'm glad you guys got the kit. Jessica's watching from the car. Where are you going, Jessica? I have a bunch of flowers that need to be planted in my yard, so I'm excited for tonight. You know where we're going tonight? We are going to... It's some kind of Jurassic Park drive through I think it's been going around, so some of you might know about it. Hi, Kathy. Welcome. But, and it was a little more on the spendy side, and I'm kind of curious. I don't know. It was something to do, right? Because no masks in the car. It's in the car. It's just a drive through We love to do doodle bug. Or not doodle bug. We love to do drive through um, uh, Christmas lights. So I thought this would be a lot of fun. Hi, welcome, Laura. Oh, man, I might have to go scare my cat off. 
He's messing with something he shouldn't be messing with. I can hear him out. All my boys are outside and yeah, Arlene, it's kind of, I will, I'll let you guys know. I'm sure I'll do pictures about it, which is kind of funny. I told my husband, we were joking, we were talking about how expensive it was. And I'm like, well, I have dinosaur paper to use up. So actually you're going to get more than your money's worth. Out of it. <laughs> so it'll be interesting. It said 20 minutes to one hour of a drive through And my husband wonders how much of that is waiting in the parking lot uh, for our turn to go through. But anyways, it's something to do. I'm excited. So we're going to do that tonight. Let me know if you are here and you have your kit. I can't remember. I'm pretty sure we sold almost 20 of the kits. I will start here in just a few minutes, maybe like 105. I guess it's not one o'clock where a lot of you are, but it is where I am. 101 PM. Let me know what time it is where you guys are. And again, if you got the kit, let me know. I'd love to know if you got the kit. Also, if you got the kit, if you're going to try to do the shadow box, or if I know one person said they bought the kit and wanted to try to make it into a layout. So it's 4 p.m., Lori. You must be Eastern Standard Time. It's hard for me to remember where everybody lives. <laughs> 401. Yep, Beth, you must be Eastern as well. So many people in the Eastern. I love it, but it's like, where's all my Western people here? Where's my next door neighbors so I can go to crops with? Lori's in Virginia. Yeah. I'd love to know what your weather is, too, as well. Because we are having... Oh, welcome, Carolyn. Uh, you're in um, Canada, then. That's cool. 4 p.m. in New Jersey. So most of you, sounds like it's you're from um, definitely the eastern side. Oh, Craftaholic. Sorry, I missed yours. You said 3 p.m., so you're not completely the Eastern Standard Time. Welcome, welcome. If you have, um, if you want me to call you Craftaholic or if you want me to call you something else, let me know. Hi, Christine. Welcome. Christine says, hello, everyone. Fifty-eight degrees. Yep, gloomy. Oh, it's gloomy where you are. Rochelle, did I say that right? Raquel or Rochelle? You'll have to. I'll say if it's Rochelle, say yes. If it's Raquel, say yes, yes. Ah, <laughs> you're in the ATL. Is that Atlanta? And it. Ah, I'm getting tongue-tied already, and we haven't even started. Okay, so it's Rochelle. Okay. Turn my squeaky chair again. You guys, funny story. I bought a new chair because mine was squeaky, right? Well, my back hurt every time I used it, and I borrowed my son's one day. So I bought one like my son has, and so it's not even a month old, and listen to it squeak, and I'm a little frustrated. But I got it off Amazon. How do you return a chair to Amazon? <laughs> I thought about returning it, but I, I know it fits and it's comfy, so I don't know. We And we did add, my husband sprayed it, so. All right, it's 104. One more minute and we will get started. So, again, let me know if you bought the kit. I saw somebody say they were going to make it into a layout. Let me go back. Oh, it was Kathy. So, Kathy, you may or may not want to cut it down. Kathy, are you a 12 by 12 scrapbooker or are you 8.5 by 11? Um, just curious. Because there's different ways you could do this for a layout if you wanted. All right. So, those of you who are doing the kit, foam adhesive if you have any. I have two different sizes here. I like to do two different sizes. Just that's me. Um, I've done a ton of these shadow boxes. I, I think I have 15, <laughs> if not more. <laughs> you 
they are all hung up in my scrap room currently. I'm making it so I can kind of switch them out for, you know, like I have Easter ones. So during Easter, I want to be able to put the Easter ones on the shelf out, maybe displayed in the living room and then kind of switch the frames out. Um, I hope that makes sense. That's kind of my goal with it. And the rest of them, I just, you know, you, you guys know me, I love Doodlebug. And so, um, uh, yeah, you guys know that I love Doodlebug. So these shadow box kits are just a lot of fun. And I purchased a lot of them through Doodlebug. I went to their event. A lot of you may know that as well. They had an event before COVID and all this stuff. They actually have events or used to twice a year. And so, uh, that was, these kits were something you could buy there. Um, so it, it they, that's how I got my love for them. And then since I haven't gone, I haven't seen them. There's another small store that sells them, I believe. Um, she actually sells them more expensive than Michelle de does. That's why I kind of got together with Michelle. So um, this was just fun. And I would also like to know either now or at the end of class or, you know, middle class, whenever, what you guys want, if this is something you would want to do more of. Michelle wants me to make more and use different collections by Doodlebug. Um, there's, I'm thinking maybe a 4th of July or spring one. I, I like, I would like to know if you would want to do more and what kind of theme you would like. So, all right. And if you have a light box, it helps. But if you don't, no big deal. I have mine here in case it's hard for you guys to see. But here's what we're making if you're going to make it into a shadow box. And Kathy, good, you answered my question. You have it taped to the middle of a 12 by 12 piece of vellum. Good. Uh, that was going to be my question was if you were going to do it on a 12 by 12 vellum or just leave it 8 and a half by 11. I think you could do it 8 and a half by 11 as well if anybody else is on here. Oh, Lori. So yes, any holiday. Okay, great. Um, I was also thinking if you did eight and a half by 11, you could, you know, put the vellum on there, not on the box, but you could do the kit in the middle. Boy, she got some good vellum for this too. This is good, thick vellum. Good job, Michelle. She is, I don't think here, I think she's out and about exploring, but you could add a picture and then you could always add this to a 12 by 12 with a couple borders, maybe at the edge. Christmas. Okay, Beth. Yeah, I definitely, they always come out with a Christmas and I have some Christmas ones already, but they're so, they're older ones, but um, I'm looking now. I have one Christmas one. One? I can't see. The other one's blocked by boxes, but I'm pretty sure that's not a Christmas one. Um, I have at least one Christmas one, if not two. So that's something we would definitely do. All right. So if you want to make the box with them and the shadow boxes, you can find just about anywhere. Um, I told Michelle probably to keep the kit cheaper to not include the frame. And I hope you guys are okay with that, but it's saved on the cost of the frame and you guys, you know, can get them on Amazon. You can get them any color that you might want. So you don't have to do just white. If you got white, you could paint it if you wanted. Now this one has a little mark on this doodle pop in the middle. So ignore that. Um, I had to take a photocopy of this. So I had to take this all apart and uh, so we could make the instructions. So, um, that is why that's like that. And I forgot what I was talking about. <laughs> Anyways, if you want to do the shadow box, then please take a moment and cut your vellum to eight by eight. As best as you can. Or if, you know, if you already have your shadow box and don't have a paper cutter, you could take the back part and outline it and cut along those lines. So I'm just going to set that right here. Hopefully you'll see most, most of it. And then the other stuff, I'd like to know when you guys are done cutting, if you're playing along. So you should also have the instruction sheet. 
the piece of white cardstock. So the white cardstock you will also cut to eight by eight, but you don't want to put the adhesive on it just yet, or I mean the vellum over it. But that basically goes behind everything so that you have that nice white background. And this is a nice, good piece of white. Arlene, did you get the kit? Because you should have vellum in the kit. If you don't have vellum, surely she would not have forgotten vellum in the kit. But you know, mistakes happen. Let me know, Arlene, if you got the kit or if you're trying to do, if you don't have vellum, I mean, and you didn't get the kit, um, you can try to just play along placing the pieces down. Lori is done cutting. Thank you for letting me know. All right. And then as well, you get, you should have the stickers and then, oh, look, Michelle packages. Oh, okay, Lori, you got your, Lori's, um, excuse me, Lori's vellum was stuck to her instructions. So check that out. Okay, good, Arlene, you do have it. Good, good, good. Michelle is, how many of you have bought, um, from Michelle before in my little scrapbook store. I know a lot of you have, but doesn't she just do the best job packing? So you should have nine little guys here, chocolate chip guys. Yes, eight by eight for the vellum. And you can go ahead and cut the white cardstock to eight by eight, or you can do that later on. Um, then you should have your doodle pop. What is this? Mixed with love guy and two sprinkle packs. So I'm going to cut my vellum while I wait for anybody else to say. Yeah, Michelle is really good. She just blows me away. And, you know, when you, after you've cut this vellum, let me cut it and I'll show you what I'm talking about. This scrap, you could use this on a layout, like as a layering piece, you know, just cut that off. You could also punch shapes from it. This is good vellum. So don't toss that. You can do a little bit more with it. So eight and then eight again. Oh, I should have had an empty frame, but you guys can see what it looks like in the frame. So it's okay if I don't put it in the frame. And then I'm gonna cut my card stock to eight by eight. I'm gonna do it this way first. You could always, if you couldn't find, didn't want anything to do with the eight by eight, maybe if you wanted to do a eight and a half by 11 frame, you could always do that and just center it as well. Or even add a tiny photo, like maybe one of those in stacks. What do they call those photos? Is that the right word? You could add it small in a frame. Okay, and now when you are done cutting, you're gonna take your vellum, and I don't think either side really matters. It feels, one side does feel a little smoother, but I don't think it matters. So as long as you guys can see mine, I'm gonna not use this this time. Now you wanna get like some washi tape or very low tack tape, just a little bit of it. Make sure you guys can see. And you're gonna center your vellum on to around that box. If it's not 100% perfect, it looks like the box may not have printed. There we go. Just, I mean, just center it around the box as much as you can. I have to tell you guys, as much as I want to encourage shopping for Michelle, scrapbook.com, this is some of their low tech adhesive and it's the best stuff ever. I definitely want you to shop with Michelle, but if you need low tack tape, and you can tape anywhere. So there, it is taped down now. Okay. And this, from this point on, is super simple. So if you wanna work ahead and just chat, if you just wanna see, you know, what to do, I'll just explain really quick and then I'll start putting mine together with you. So the ones, and it says down below, so a lot of you probably already know. The ones with the X on it, 
you want to add, if you want, foam adhesive. Now, I like to use two different types of foam adhesive. Um, sometimes you can notice the difference, sometimes you, and you don't have to. If you only have thin and you like the idea of two different heights, you can double up the thin, or you could even double up the thick if you wanted to, um, just depending on the your frame, how it would fit in there. So I just choose ones that are not next to each other. And since I'm going to do mine with two different sizes, I'll talk about that, which ones I choose as we go along. But the ones with the X's, that's why it has an X on it. I really wanted to pop up the apron, but it just, with that little tiny, those strings, which you guys probably know, they, they would, and it wouldn't have mattered because it is going to be protected in a box or in a layout protector, but... Um, yeah, I decided to not go with, or not chance it. And this cookie looks like the coloring on the cookie down below. Here, I'm going to leave this here so you can kind of see the colors in case the color throws you off a little bit. That one looks like it got printed a little bit darker than, so that one's a pink one. So first things first, let's just start with the Doodle Pop. And it's super simple. You should be able to line them up, and this has an inside piece you might want to take out. So it just goes right on over, and it's, you want to try to get it, you know, as best you can, but if it's off of just a hair, no big deal. And then you just go from there, and whichever way is easy, easiest for you to work from. Um, so I'm just going to maybe start with the vanilla. And I'm going to pop that on the thinner foam strip with a thinner foam strip because it is next to the doodle pop. So I'm just going to take this, cut down a little bit. And I'm not going to worry, worry, even though these are stickers, if you want to take off the stickiness before backing them, by all means, I'm not going to worry about it being totally covered on the back just because it's going to be in a shadow box. So, um, and then you just, again, you cover it up. You go right over the vanilla bottle. And I like to do the bigger pieces before I do the smaller pieces. It just seems to help. Sometimes if you, you know, don't have the same amount of room, if we're depending on where you placed yours, so now I'm going to do the apron, and the apron string from the top part is pretty hard to see, but that's why it's kind of got that empty space there. So again, just place it over, and that one's flat to the page. And if I'm going too fast, if I end up going too fast or anything, please let me know if I'm going too slow. Say, hey, could you speed it up a little? <laughs> now the, all oh, the sprinkles. This was one of my favorite parts. How many of you got the kit? Not this kit, but this collection, just because it was so much fun. So the sprinkles just go there. And then these shiny ones, like this here, will be from... Don't lose your little guys here. I'm afraid I'm going to lose my little guys. Will be from your shaped sprinkles. And the little hearts and the little like sprinkle pieces. You might be able to see a little better there will be from this package here. You got some of it? Yeah, I know. I, I've, I've still got plenty. <laughs> if you can't figure out which color goes where with the sprinkles, you can look at their faces too because they have different faces and some of the cookies are, you know, have a little bite out of them. You got the collection and the doodle. Yes, me too, Lori. Lori, are you a Doodlebug fan with along with me? Now, I have a little scoop here. And this is the little scoop with the little bit of sugar or flour in it. And it kind of goes in between there. So I'm going to move the heart up just a tiny bit because it. I just don't want them touching. If you want them touching and don't care, by all means. Okay. Now, next, I'm going to add this little egg in here. Yes, Lori. Oh, that's so good to hear. Now, this egg, 
if you don't care about the faces, it really doesn't matter. But this egg does have the happy face with the eyes closed. Doodlebug. So, Lori, did you get the most recent collection? The Hippity Hoppity and the... Um, what's that other one? How can I forget the name of the Doodlebug collection? Oh, Fairy Garden. That one. I'm excited. I've been having so much fun playing with the Hippity Hoppity. Okay, the butter up there. And if you want to pop more of these up or all of them up, by all means, go ahead. This little flower canister. I love these little stickers. Every time I think Doodlebug can't do anything cuter, they always do. Am I right? Okay, so here I have the rolling pin. And I think I'm, um, I think I'm still going to just do him with the thinner adhesive. Maybe I won't use the thicker adhesive. I'm just going to add, we'll have to see the pieces. Oh, you weren't crazy about the fairy one, huh? I think, I love it. I don't know. I, I still have a lot of pictures from my, when my daughter was younger, so I can definitely use the fairy one. So, but if you don't have pictures, although there's a lot of really good spring sayings or sayings about friends in it. Oh, I'm buffing. Are you guys okay? Or how is it going there for you guys? I'm just putting the rolling pin down in case you guys are. Oh no, I hope that's just my internet. Can somebody comment to see? Let me try refreshing. Oh man, oh man, oh man. I don't know if you guys are there or not. Let's see what's going on with my phone. Uh-oh. Are you collect? Okay, if you guys can hear me, my computer decided that now is a good time to restart. So I can't see your comments for just a moment. Ugh. Can you believe this? Of course, right? My divorce, my device ran into a problem. Okay, I'm going to try to pull it up. Oh, man. YouTube. See if I can... Okay. All right, let's see. It's good here, no buffering. Um, all good. Okay, the screenshot, you're out of focus. So one thing that will help with that, I heard my son, let me see if I can figure it out on here. Um, if you are out of focus, and this back is probably a little bit blurry, so I'm showing you here. If you're out of focus, these little three stars, or not stars, little dots, if you click on that and go to quality, and you go to 720, the highest one you can pick, sometimes it shows up a little more, a little more clear. So let me know if that works. I honestly don't think at this point that I could zoom in without restarting. So let me know, Donna. And hello, Donna, welcome. And I'm gonna use this even though, guess what? This has 34%. <laughs> My computer uses it all the time, right? <laughs> and but the minute I'm in a class, that's funny. So let me know, Donna. I want. I would definitely love to know if that helps. I really don't think. Of course, I keep moving this thing. Oh, actually, look at that. I can. Well, thank you, Donna. You helped me learn something more. Is that a little better? Okay. How's that? I hope that helps. But you can still always do 
the quality, no matter what live you're watching. Much better. Good. Okay, just remind me if because if I move it down, um, if I move it down, I am going to uh, go out of screen, but that's, um, I don't know. You guys know what I'm trying to say. <laughs> Remind me of my, if I move it down and you can't see it because I'm used to, because this is a little further away. All right. I cannot believe that's hilarious. And I'm watching. Oh, I got a little scoop out, but it was the wrong one. So I'm going to put him over here. He's the middle sized and now the large one. I'm glad that helped. And thank you, actually, I learned, I didn't think I could zoom in with, you know, being, and here, let me put this on this side maybe, so I'm not covering it with my stickers and you guys can see if you need anything. Okay, so back to this little green heart is a sticker. So it's on here. There's a couple different green hearts on here. And you should have some of these left. Not a ton of them, but you should have some. And you could even do another little layout with it. Now we have half an egg over here. So I'm going to add that right in the curve. Now I like to go along and do the mostly the stickers first. And then I will go back and do the enamel shapes, but you are more than welcome to do whatever works for you. Okay, so I'm looking now at the dark pink heart that goes up here. So I'm going to add that in there. Who is excited about National Scrapbook Day coming up? The first weekend, last weekend of April, 1st of May. It's like April 31st and May or April 30th. I don't know which one it is. How many of you learned when you were in school to use your knuckles? January, February, March, April, May, June. And the, the higher up knuckles has 31 days and the lower knuckle, like in between, totally off crazy of class, right? But those are have less days. So January, February, March, April. <laughs> Isn't that funny? I swear I learned that in school. I don't know if it was my grandma who taught me or, but if you ever need to know how many days a month has, that's how you can go along. Again, totally off subject, but I think that I'm just going to use the thinner adhesive because so far that's all I've used. And this one, this sprinkles is this one over here. So I'm just gonna add some Oh, Arlene, yes, we have been working on getting the crop ready. We're helping Michelle out, um, the designers this time, so she doesn't have to be stressed. Now I'm adding this little tiny frosting bit, which was one of my favorite things from the collection as well. Right in here by the mixer. The spoon and the fork. Sorry, I know I kind of went from one side to the other, but that's going to work for me just to work that way. So you work however. There are a lot of activities. National. Here's one thing I've noticed, though, that I really like about Michelle's is that you, a lot of you probably know, you have a lot of time to do the activities where a lot of the other... Um, a lot of the other places have, you have to do it that weekend, right? And turn in whatever contest project thing you do. And so I get very overwhelmed. And that's one thing I like about just doing Michelle's is it's just simple. You can play along. The designers do their lives. And you have some time to actually turn in the projects. So again, I'm adding foam tape behind this because it has the X. Now I'm just cutting, trimming little bits to go on the end. How many of you are already done now and just waiting for me to be done <laughs> rambling? <laughs> 
National Scrap, I think, okay, so it it's not really an International Scrapbook Day weekend, and I call it international because of all the people, you know, Cal uh, Canada and, you know, Australia, all the places, so they've started slowly calling it that, but International Scrapbook Day is not really a weekend, it's actually just the Saturday, so, but a lot, like our, our crop will begin on Friday. But it won't begin. That's another. Carolyn, where where do you live again? Do you live East Coast again? Um, a lot of what starts on Friday won't start until 6 p.m.-ish Eastern Standard Time, which is a little earlier, which I love for me because it gives me more time to play <laughs> on Friday. But at the same time, I miss a little bit on the Saturday and Sunday. Vicki Booten has her color study class that weekend. Oh, okay, so she's so is that a class you signed up for, or is that kind of like her lives, which are free? And again, I'm adding foam tape behind this milk. And then I'm going to add this little egg here. And there's another little cookie. Yeah, so Carolyn, it starts Friday evening, I guess, is a one. Unless you just wanted to take Friday off to play. <laughs> That's by all means okay with me. Um, okay, and now I'm going to do the cocoa. Actually, before I do the cocoa, I'm going to put the eggs down. We contemplated doing the crop another weekend since we knew everybody was going to be doing crops, but it was kind of hard to find another time to do it, and we thought we would just make it fun. So... And so we're going to do a couple extra fun little things this time to just a couple extra new things we don't usually do just to make it up, play it up since it's international, NSD, National Scrapbook Day. Okay, I'm going to do the cookie now. And if I'm going too fast again, let me know. Oh, 12 layouts. That's awesome. Did you do, was it a Friday, Saturday, and Sunday? I think that I had barely just joined Michelle last year, and I might have only done a live on the Sunday. Or, you know, maybe, seemed like maybe I was, I can't remember last year, actually. Maybe we did it a different weekend. That was so long ago. <laughs> signed up and she sends you all the material for the class that you purchased. Well, that's pretty cool. I hope you have fun doing that. Okay, I'm popping up the little mixing bowl. Now, this would be so cute to hang in a kitchen too or give to somebody who's got you know, fun stuff like this and loves the mixers like Jessica does. <laughs> now this little heart looks blue through my vellum, or I mean looks white through my vellum, but it's actually a light blue one. So um, just pointing that out to you. So that would be this light blue. But again, you can do any color. I just tried to, when I was making this, pull the colors around. So like the blue shows up here, here, and here, the pink really here and here, so that it made a triangle each time. Okay, Friday night and Saturday, I remember watching you on a hot, oh really, okay. Oh, Carolyn, you saw me in the beginning, huh? <laughs> oh, Lori, I'm glad you're enjoying it. Isn't it so much fun? And yes, to hang in the kitchen, you know what? We need, oh, they did do a coffee-ish type of line once. I wonder if they have a shadow box for their very old, who, Lori, you would remember, their cream and sugar. Did you ever get that line? Are you a coffee drinker? Some people are coffee drinkers and some are not. And if you hear my cat meowing like everything in life is pathetic in the background, he's totally fine. <laughs> he just... He does that now when there's not, I think they've gotten so used to having people home constantly that when there's not people around constantly, that's what he does. And I'm in my room and the boys are outside. So 
Yeah, Lori, that would be fun. Maybe I will have to see if Michelle could still get some of that collection. My, my kitchen is coffee themed, so that would be perfect. Again, I'm sorry I'm kind of going around here, um, up here with this. I do kind of, I've noticed when I work on these, I go back and forth quite a bit. Now this one with the spoons, this little dish with the spoons, which is adorable is not popped up with foam tape. So I'm just gonna go ahead and add that in there. And then this little one. And if you guys, Kathy, I know you're on here. Oh, Lori, me too. I am, I, I've been looking at my stuff and I thought I have these great, what about the Hello collection, Lori? Did you like that collection? I have that one still and it was one of my favorites and I've never used it and so I'm like, okay, this year is a year for using up collections that I've hoarded and loved. And it's not that I haven't used, don't, you know, want to keep, I want to keep it forever because it's so awesome. I just haven't used it. And so I have an organizing one video coming up for you guys where I kind of organize my, I'm real, because I know, remember if you, some of you might um, remember that I had Sorry, I'm checking. I'm, I'm making sure since I have a new setup here for where I watch your comments. Um, I, uh, I reorganized by theme and then by brand. So I have a video explaining more of that coming up. So again, I got a little pink cookie down here. But yes, so you have the Hello Collection too. And it's, yeah, I love mine too. I just... I don't know why. There's no reason I haven't used it. All right, I'm going to do... Okay, the chocolate chips. If you can look, they are a little bit bigger if they are the enamel ones, if that helps. But can you see on here? Do you want me to hold this up for a little bit closer for a minute? So this one here is... Let me grab something to point with. might be a little easier. So like this one here is one of the enamel ones and this is a sticker so there is a tiny bit of size difference so this is enamel this is a sticker enamel and at the end um i can i can go are you ready for the chips let me get i am almost done with these other stickers and then i can start doing some of those if that will help let me glue this one down and we can do that together and anybody, good question though, for anybody who signed up for the class, but cannot make the live today. Okay, so I'm gonna take my chips and add them all now. So that might help you guys. Now, this one is one of the darker chocolate chips up here. And again, if you wanna do it exactly the way I have it, you can look at the way its eyes are. Good, I'm glad that helped, Arlene. So this guy has his eyes closed and just is a happy chocolate chip. Happy, like a Bob Ross thing. Happy little chocolate chip. <laughs> and of course I put it down. If you have little, I wouldn't use tweezers. I've noticed I've been using my tweezers with these, not these ones exactly, but like um, the eggs and stuff from Doodle Pop and they scratch them a little bit. So don't use tweezers if they've got a kind of a sharper end. So this one on the edge above the apron is a doodle pop and it's the same face, which you could, I didn't even think about their faces when I put it together. So if you wanted a different one there, but this is a darker one, lighter one. Then we got this happy guy in here. He's just a regular smiley face. So he's gonna go in here. Then we have this guy here above the fork and he's a dark chocolate one. Dark chocolate. Oh, you know what? I just now put this together. They have dark chocolate, milk chocolate, and white chocolate. <gasps> Who noticed that before now? And I didn't even notice it. <laughs> the one by the cocoa is an enamel. We have one here under the eggs, which is an enamel one. And you know, funny story about me, I don't know if I've said it before, I cannot make chocolate chips to save my chocolate chip cookies. I make them, 
and I've tried all kinds of things. Flour, different flour, different recipes. I've had people say, did you try this? Did you try it? Yes, I've tried it. Trust me. My chocolate chip cookies come out as one big, flat, mushy cookie. <laughs> so another chocolate chip here, or white chocolate chip above the teaspoons. So I'm going to be doing a page about my inability to do chocolate chip cookies. And then a final, the last one should go here by the mixer. So I hope that helped. And then a yellow sticker above the little spoons. And a green sticker by the mitten, green heart sticker. And then the rest of the chocolate chips pieces should be um, the stickers. Now, if you want to see how, if you're missing something, you could always take up part of it and look underneath. I've done that a few times. I usually do that more in the end when I really know I'm close, but all right, blue, blue heart cookie here. And you should have extra ones of these. I believe that might be all of that, these that we use. Now this little cute timer. For those of you who have bought this kit, have you made layouts? What have you made the layouts about? Like obviously maybe cooking, but is it like a food or cooking with somebody? I'm going to have my husband tomorrow teach me how to make chicken pot pie because he makes the best chicken pot pie. Do other cookies come out okay? Oh, yeah. I can make sugar cookies. We make sugar cookies every... Oh, and then Arlene, some of these little hearts are also from this enamel sheet and not... Oh, okay, all the hearts on here are larger as well. So it's kind of flip-flopped. The other... So the chocolate chip enamel are larger and the stickers are smaller. And then it's flip-flop for the hearts. The hearts are larger stickers and smaller enamels. So... Hope that makes sense. I think I'm almost done with all my stickers. I need another pink, light pink heart right there. So yes, I can make, oh, did I? Oh, there it is. And look how much you're gonna have left over, guys. You could always do another shadow box for somebody if you wanted to give somebody a gift and kind of make up your own with the leftover if you wanted. You wouldn't have the enamel chocolate chips, but hey. Yeah, trust me, I just, it's kind of become, I even have a picture of me and my daughter. I think I'm ready just for the enamel shapes now. I have a picture of me and my daughter where she has made chocolate chip cookies the same time as me, and hers look beautiful, and mine are still just a mess. <laughs> oh, I didn't add my chocolate chip cookie shapes yet, but... I will do that. So this one up here, starting up here, is kind of a, what is that, more of a coral. I think it's coral, they call it, their pink color. And then a couple of these sprinkles, which I love these sprinkles. So we have kind of a lighter pink along here. I'm trying to use this little tool so you guys can see me put them on. And then more of the teal. right next to that one and then a little yellow circle which is also from here and that's going to fill in that little area and then the one above the mitt is the more teal color i wonder if they i want to say i'm trying to think of the actual doodle name colors i want to say the light pink is bubblegum the teal i think they call it swimming pool or there might be something else but the teal one goes there with a pink sprinkle above it a lighter pink or you could do darker pink if you wanted but it's right next to that darker pink heart so if you don't want them close to each other above oh right here is a chocolate chip sticker and he has his eyes open if you want one with his eyes open So that guy can go there. And then above this little heart is a light, is the blue 
circle from this sheet. And then next to that, a dark pink sprinkle. Okay, and then I need my little chocolate chip sticker here. So that's a white chocolate chip, I believe, yep. And then uh, next to the apron is a teal sprinkle or aqua, whatever you guys want to call these. Okay, and right next to that above that egg is a light pink circle from the enamel shapes. And then down here, oh, I got a sprinkle. Let's do this one so I don't forget it. Um, there is a teal sprin sprinkle. Oh, you know what I just realized? I don't think I, oh, yes, I did. Okay. I was going to say I didn't use any of the yellow sprinkles, but that's okay. I did, actually. Okay, now to the right-hand side of the apron. We have the kind of, let's look here. I, did, I just now realized there's multiple pinks on this there's a light pink and a dark pink. So um, I think that's the light pink. Okay, light pink next to the apron. Again, it's really okay. Oh, you could even do a dark pink there if you wanted. And it would be just fine. Then a yellow sprinkle. Oops. And then a chocolate chip down there next to that sprinkle we just put down. And he looks like his eyes are closed. Which that part, honestly, I don't think anybody would even notice the eyes. So if you don't put them exactly the same, that's fine. If we go under the mixer, there is kind of the coral pink and a blue sprinkle. So I'm going to go coral pink. Hi, Tanya. No worries that you're late. Oh, I forgot you bought this kit. Don't worry, Tanya. This will be back up. The, well, you know, the live will be back up on YouTube afterwards. So if you have any questions, plus you can always reach out to me. All right. By the fork and spoon, yellow circle. Underneath that is a darker pink. Not the coral, but the darker pink sprinkle and the heart next to that I'm just pulling up my little cocoa lid this is a coral heart Tanya are you going to do the kit today or are you going to just watch the replay then okay underneath the milk by the egg is a yellow heart And then I have a chocolate here, chocolate chip here. He kind of looks more like a milk chocolate chip. So I'm going to put him there. And then below the eggs, I have a coral heart. You're trying to catch up, Tanya. Don't worry. Don't hurry yourself. Tanya, what you got to do first is cut your papers to eight by eight. Your vellum and your, do not cut the instructions, just the vellum and the white cardstock. Have you done that? All right, then the mixing bowl is a dark pink sprinkle. Kind of move that just a hair. Okay, now in between this little area here is a light pink heart. It's very simple, Tanya. And then underneath here looks like a dark chocolate um, sticker. And then next to here is a yellow sprinkle and a dark pink circle. Whoops, that got stuck to my finger. I'm going to turn mine just to kind of get into it a little easier. So I hope that's okay with you guys. That way my hands aren't above the rest for anybody. Has anybody completely finished? I'd love to know what you think. And now that you've done this one again, is this something you would like more of? I know a few of you said yes. All right, then in between the canister and the heart and the scoop here is a white chocolate chip sticker. 
so he can go here and then in between this little section next to the sugar is a light pink heart okay and then above the sugar is a teal heart Next to the sugar is a yellow sprinkle. And I did not pop the teaspoons up on a foam with foam tape, but you are more than welcome to if you would like. Next to the teaspoons and the mitt is a, looks like a milk chocolate chip sticker. And is that all? Am I actually finished? I'll leave it here. You guys can tell me. Oh, good. You're done, Kathy. I'm glad you want to do more. That's good to hear. Okay. Having a look at it. Does anybody see my missing anything? It will be nice. Oops. I have a little scrap there. I think I got it all. Let me know what you think. Tanya, have you gotten a frame? We can send you guys. If anybody needs a frame, um, I, we can add links to the, the, the description box below. It'll take me a while because I can't access the video as soon as you guys can. Also, um, you'd like to do another Beth? Okay, that's great. Good to know. Thank you, Laura. I'm glad you like it too. No frame yet. No worry, Tanya. You could always just turn it into a layout too. So Tanya, after you glue it, Beth, I'm glad you like it. Aren't they fun? They're just fun. And if you have a scrap room, you can hang them in. It's even funner, you know, but like this one, like I said, I mean, that's only if you want to collect multiple like me. So all you do is just take your adhesive off. Tanya, since you are just here, your eight by eight should fit around this box that is printed on the paper as close as you can to it so and then just use some low tack or washi tape donna donna i'm glad you like it too and then just washi tape it and you can start going to work tanya and the instructions below you should be able to figure out tanya but the ones with x's are popped up with foam tape if you like but even if you didn't have foam tape I think I got all of them. I'm so excited now. I, You know what? It's kind of stinky. The place I got these frames from, it's a local store to me. It's called Craft Warehouse, and it's very similar to Hobby Lobby. They have been out because of COVID, and I have more of these. And I can get the frames many different places, but I want mine to all be the same brand so that it hangs. They all hang the same so that if I do move them around, they are you know, I don't have to worry about the sizing and the fitting in. So um, I've had to wait and I haven't been able to, um, I haven't been able to add, get any more of the frames. I think I have like four of these and now five probably sitting out with this one. Now, do other manufacturers make these shadow box kits? As not, not as much as, as far as I know. Um, this was something, like I said, I went to the doodle bug event and they had some of these kits and from collections from years ago. Uh, and so I got a few and I felt actually the craft warehouse store that I was talking about a moment ago did one of these a few years back. And I was like, Oh, I don't need that. I don't want it. But when I was at the doodle bug event, they had the same one and they, um, so I ended up doing them and buying them and now I'm absolutely in love. And I think having my own place to put them or knowing where I want to put them helps. Um, I've even decided maybe to put some in my bedroom because like, why not? I love them. Right. And why not fill my house with things I love? Donna, you would not want to use this as a layout because it's too cute to cover up. Yeah, but what you could do, because I know, like, Kathy, I think she's going to do it as a layout. She did it on a 12 by 12. Excuse me. Again, those allergies are getting to me. But that is the finished project. I'm so glad you guys like it. If you were, let me grab a paper from this collection. Oops, sorry. 
I didn't even think about this. Now, let me figure out where this collection is. <laughs> okay. If you wanted to do this as a layout, like Kathy did it with a full 12 by 12 piece of vellum. Let's just take this. This is from the Made With Love. Oh, look, well, however I have my papers, they're all kind of bent, darn it. I'm kind of glad I noticed that. You could add this even as an eight by eight. You could do white behind. Let me grab my white. You could put the white card stuff behind. Oh, good, Lori. Oh, I'm so glad that you love it, Lori. That's awesome. I'm glad you guys are enjoying this. I was really worried of, you know, doing a class for somebody is always kind of like nerve wracking a little bit because you want people to like it. Now I'm just grabbing the most nearby picture I have, which has nothing to do with, with the kitchen or cooking, but this is just an example. I guess I should have printed something, but if you wanted to make this into a layout, if you wanted to do it as a layout with eight by eight, I would say maybe See, you wouldn't have to cover it up, really. You could do it anywhere along the paper. Kathy says, I'm going to do a two-page layout. This will be the title page, and the brother page will have the pictures. I might put a small picture. What a great idea! If you guys had, like I did a kitchen remodel years ago, so I've done a few pages, this could make a great title page. And even in the future, different ones... Oh, Jody, hi, welcome. I don't know if I've said hello to you. Um, I'm glad you love it. And yeah, I will let Michelle know. Like I said, I think she is away spending time with the hubby. You could always center it and you could, you know, you could make your title. You could do so many different things if you wanted something more. Lori says, great idea, Kathy. You might have to scrap lift her idea. I mean, even look on the cupcake. If you were going to do the cupcake, I would definitely suggest doing the white underneath. Or like Kathy said, she used a full 12 by 12 and just centered it on there. So there's many different things you can do. And then also like the Instax. Okay, I'm going to pull this picture down. Look at this. Who's a Game of Thrones fan? If you had a smaller picture... <laughs> Yes, I have a picture of Jon Snow in my room. <laughs> but if you had a smaller picture, you could always, you know, just add it like at an angle or you can angle this. So this works as well as a... Yes, Tanya, I know. <laughs> yeah, it's really cute with the cupcakes and that's just one of... In fact, now that I actually have an extra one, I think I will make it into a layout. That one I'll do on a separate video if I do it. Um, I'll have to find a good picture first. That's why I'm saying that. But there you go. So let me move it up so it's a little more in frame since I'm zoomed in a little bit. And thank goodness that I could stay with you guys with my commenting. <laughs> Thank you guys for sticking in with the computer trouble I had, which luckily it was quickly and easily fixed. So let me know if you have any more questions and I will give you guys just a minute or two before ending the live. Ah, Donna, you've changed your thoughts now. You see, you can even put it in a 12 by 12 frame. Um, I don't think Michelle has any of the Made With Love papers left. But let's look. Lori, I'm so glad you liked it. And I really appreciate your guys' input on it. Beth, no problem. Thank you guys for taking the class. Look at it with the hearts. <gasps> oh, I really like that. What do you guys think of that? And if you did this, you could always gut that paper, the heart paper out in the middle and use it as a scrap. I don't know, Kathy. I think you got a lot of us thinking. <laughs> How fun. I love the idea that this is the title page and then the other page. Kathy, will you, when you are done with this layout, are you part of the Facebook group? Would you tag us and share your layout if you don't mind? If you don't want to share the layout, I totally understand. That's only if you're comfortable. I can't remember who all shares their layouts.
Thank you, Cryptoholic. Uh, Rachel, Michelle, Michelle, did I get it? I'm trying to remember. <laughs> Thank you, Arlene. Here's that with the flowers. I'm just playing around for a minute. Tanya, do you have any questions before we go? This paper wouldn't work as well, but have you seen this paper and how it's tags so you can use it? Isn't that awesome? All right, guys, I'll give you just one more minute to ask any more questions. Here's a chocolate chip paper. I'm glad you guys like it. I will talk to Michelle. Yes, Donna. We are looking for, I'm really looking forward to it too. I don't care for it as much with the chocolate chips, but I think I just like all the bright colors. All right, Tanya, and you know you can reach out to me should you need to later on. And I'm just kind of flipping here, showing you guys different ways to do this if you didn't want it on the frame or if you wanted a 12 by 12 frame. Oh, no problem, Kathy. Anytime, even if you want to show your left-hand side of how you do it first. But yeah. Okay, guys. That is the class. And if any of you do have questions, if you're watching this on replay and have a question, although with as many people are, that are here, I think most of you who are taking the class are here. Um, there are just a few kits left. If we get enough interest, then we can maybe possibly order more, but it depends on how many more people are interested of seeing this on the replay. Thank you, Carolyn. I really appreciate that. Especially with my allergies, I can tell my throat's like, okay, it's time to be done. <laughs> Um, I'm trying to think of what else to say. If you need help finding a frame, if you need help with anything, please feel free to reach out to me. Um, I think that is probably everything. Everything else should have been explained in the video, but I am here and I'm around if you have any questions. So Laura, thank you as well. And I hope you guys have a great weekend. How many of you are crafting this weekend? I'll ask that one last question before I go. I've got some yard work to do, but I might try to do some crafting as well. But all right, I'm glad I'm not seeing any more questions come up. Thank you, Donna, for helping me learn that I can zoom in. I believe it was Donna. Good, Tanya. I hope you enjoy it. Ooh, Donna got color study. So she is ready to go. Kathy, you're doing yard work too? Yes, it's, I definitely need to get some done. I bought some flowers, need to plant them. So Beth is organizing photos, which can be tedious sometimes, right Beth? <laughs> All right, thank you. And thank you everybody. I appreciate it. And I look forward to the next class. And before then, I look forward to our National Scrapbook Day crop. Oh, you did some art journaling and a few of the monthly challenges. Oh, good. Oh, yeah, I forget we have monthly challenges still, right? Speaking of which, I haven't done mine. Thanks for reminding me. <laughs> All right, guys, I will talk to you later. And thank you so much.